As humans, we constantly judge things based on how they look. So today, we're gonna only eat at the sketchiest looking restaurants for 24 hours. First things first, breakfast. Let's do this. We always like to expect the worst, but hope for the best. Hey, Hello. You Two? Is this anywhere? Oh, is that in there? Yeah, we don't wait on this patio, but you can... Oh, I see, I see. Amazing, thank, thank you. you. Right off the bat, this kind of looks like a dive bar. I'm thinking it feels like that vibe. It's 11 a.m. right now, people are already drinking brews, but that's the Nashville lifestyle. We might have to. I think so. Then let's check out their menu. Let's see what they're rocking here. I was feeling breakfast, but you know what? A beer and breakfast don't really sound right to me, so no, let's check this out. I think we need to get that French dip and them wings. Let's see what they got here, all right? Oh, wow, okay. Oh, it says award-winning wings. Wow. Wow. We have to. Okay, we're gonna have to. I really didn't look at the menu. I saw Continental, and I was thinking about hotel. Tells Continental breakfast. That's what I thought. So maybe we just be dumb. <laughs> wait, 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 homie, homie. Continental. This place is called Centennial. My yeah. man can't even read. I can't even read. <laughs> Hello. Hey, hey, how you doing? I'm glad I showered today. <laughs> you look great. You look great. You have really pretty eyes. Thank you. Us green eyed people, we gotta stick together. Only two percent of the population. Yeah. Right on. All the foods on there. Awesome. And then if y'all are having drinks or anything, the drafts are up above the little door up there. Oh, okay. Have a full bar. Amazing. Um, Sweet. Do you want any waters or sodas or anything to start with? Uh, some water, yeah. Yeah, water for now and then we'll, we'll check out this menu. Yep, Thank you. Sure. Yeah, it looks like it's just little snacks like he was recommending and then you got the main eats. The main eats is prime dip, burger, cauliflower tacos, grilled cheese, which three different cheeses in that. You know, I'm lactose intolerant, that might not hit very well. Spicy chicken, a Reuben, which I Love we should do the beer. no the wings the dip and the Reuben. Yeah yeah I can I can get behind that and then maybe a couple brews. Oh and they got Taco Tuesday. It's Tuesday. I don't think we need all okay, that. Okay okay okay. You know what you want? Yeah. Yeah. We'll do the ten wings, the Centennial sauce, and then the Buffalo sauce. Mm -hmm. We want to get the prime dip and the Reuben, and that was it I believe right Jake? Yeah and then just beers. But yeah and then we'll and then we'll go check out the beers I after. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so the prime dip, I mean, they're obviously different sandwiches, but uh -huh. they're, they're both on a pretzel bun, so they're pretty similar. Okay. Spicy chicken's actually really, really good. Too, oh, really? We all like spicy. Chicken. Okay, so you saying that sub that out? Is it... Instead of the Reuben. Okay. The Reuben's okay. good, but the prime dip. Okay, let's do that. Okay, then. let's do that. Yeah, we'll yeah. go off. We'll get the, so the spicy spice. chicken. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Awesome. Thank awesome. you so much. Thank you. Everyone here in Nashville is so nice. Like, they just are down for the cam. Even though she wasn't on cam, she was still like, at least I showered. You know what I mean? Like, everyone's cool. Like, like that's why I love this town. We got our food. I guess it's brew time, 11 a.m. It's five o'clock somewhere, you know what they say. Exactly, let's, let's do it. Let's check it out. For the beers, can we get uh, a Blue Moon and Good People? Thank you, of course. First things first, let's check these meals out. Let's look at the chicken sandwich, all right? Try to get this thing out of here so we can see what the inside looks like. Oh. Oh yeah, that looks like it's gonna hit. Good lordy. Oh my god. You can see in the bag, look at, it's got a nice rub on there. That might actually be real spicy. Can you see it good? Yeah. This is the one that I'm most, most definitely excited about right here. It's a little soggy, here we go. Oh my god. We picked a good spot. Yeah. We haven't even tried see, it yet, but it looks Can't good. judge a book by its cover. The outside may not appeal you as much as some restaurants, but look what we're walking ourselves into. This looks gourmet. Check out these wings. Oh, baby lord, baby lord. Let's dig in, come on. So we're gonna start off with the wings here. I think we gotta go with the Centennial wing we have first. To. And then we'll work our way into the buffalo and then to the sandwiches. I'm gonna go for a full dip in the sauce too. Is that extra sauce That's you said? extra sauce, yeah. Oh, good lord, here we go. Mmm, it's like a sweet sauce, sweet mm. but spicy. Oh, wow. These are the jumbo wings. Let me tell you, they're plump. These chickens were definitely benching like 15, 20 pounds each arm. Dumbbell, at least, dumbbell, at least. dumbbells. Cause they're plump. stuffed with a bunch of hormones, but they taste good. Hey man, maybe. Those are real nice. They're crispy. Crispy, a little sweet, a little spicy. This is their house-made sauce here, the Centennial sauce. I can't tell what the sauce is. I don't know. It's kind of like an in and out like. It kind of tastes like an animal style sauce. Yeah. But with a little more spice to it. And a little, little more liquidity to it. It's like a Canes and an in and out sauce had a child together. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It has a little zinger with the chicken with mm -hmm. it. That makes sense? Go for so the, the next buffalo. one we're gonna do, I'm not gonna dip this one because this is the buffalo one, so we wanna taste it as is. Mmm, that's a good buffalo. Mm. I almost wish there was some buffalo to dunk it in also. A little bit skimpy on the sauce, but it's but good. it still has good, great flavor to it. It's got that classic buffalo mm. sauce flavor to it, but with a nice little extra zinger of heat level, right? A little more spicy than your classic buffalo. I will say it's almost like double fried. It like has the, the crispiness have, of well, like 
Those remember Hawker's double fried? Those were real crunch. This is probably like one and a half fries. Yeah. Look at this. This is the life hack. You give a little twist on each side for these. What are these called? Flats? No. Yeah. You give a little twist on each side and then you just put it down your gozzle. Your gozzle. And then when you pull it out, you say, God down. God down. God, what is it, God dog? God dog yeah. This is dog on good. So the next thing we're gonna go into is our prime dip. This one comes with chips. Let's give the chips a little try first, okay? She chips said it's good. Us. It's good in the sauce. Hey, she did say that? All right. Mm, mm. Real crunchy. These things are double fried right here. Good mm. chips. Sometimes you go to these chip, these restaurants and you're getting chips and they taste like Lay's. These? They're buying bags of Lay's and they're just throwing it in there. Not here though. This, they're actually like shaving down the potatoes, putting them in the deep fryer, and making some solid chips. I, I will notice, we've had buddies tell us that always get the chips because the chips are always better mm -hmm. than the fries, which I can see. I can see here, they're definitely, but we haven't tried the fries yet, so let's try this one at a time. You ready for this, my man? You gotta do a couple seconds up, dunk. This is what we do. When the pretzel bun, you wanna leave it in there for a few seconds, pull it out so that it, the bun absorbs the liquid and go for it. That's fire. Good lord. Oh my god, it's really good. Wow. Me the bun is almost like a pretzel. The bun is well, it's a pretzel it's bun. A pretzel that makes bun. sense. It's a little salty on the outside. The meat is so damn so tender. tender. I could swallow this thing whole. I'm kind of mad that we had to share all this. No, no, no. I'm not mad. I'm in love. Mm. I will tell you, the meat is so juicy itself. The bottom bun is a little bit soggy already. As it should be. As it should be, because it's just, it's fatty, it's meaty, it's delicious. Mm. This is something I can get behind. This is a place I'd come back. 12 bucks for this thing? That's a bargain. That's amazing, man. Do not judge books by its cover. I wouldn't have walked into this place on my own. No. I mean, I just would have driven past it, never thought anything of it, but I'm glad we stopped. But from the outside, it doesn't even look like a bar either. Mm -mm. It's just like a building. It's just like a building. That, and it gets so hot out here that they put like chrome tint on windows and mm -hmm. stuff to like reflect the heat out. That's why it looks so dark in here. But in reality, it's bright as hell. Like it's so bright out there that my eyes burn. We're burning. I would never have walked in here because uh -huh. it's not inviting in. Uh -huh. but now I'm glad we I'm did. Glad and we I'm, did. This is what I'm hoping that you guys take from these videos is to not be afraid of trying new things. So this, we're just gonna go at it, but what I'm gonna point out before you take a bite, Jake, look at the actual chicken. It's cut in half, but the chicken is still having that like, Juice come that through. spicy, spice rub on in the middle of it, which I don't really They're understand. Soak it. I'm gonna try it on this. It's got its own little aioli on it. Mm. Oh, that's good. Ooh, it's spicy. Definitely a spicy. It has a spice rub to it, crispy lettuce, had a little aioli, a little bit of zinger to it. The one thing I will point out though, it, you know, it is a chicken breast, a little bit dry, little so dry you wanna kinda put more of the sauce on it to just kinda complement it a little bit more. We're dunking in a ranch, the cheese on it's good. It's almost like a chicken breast that was like beaten flat. Mm -hmm. like to or like a it chicken out. patty or something. I don't know, it's good though. Wanna try fries? Fry test. Wow. Good fries. Good fries. Not soggy. Got a little nice crispy crunch to it when you bite in. Not too much though where it's overly cooked. Mmm. Just enough for me to go. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Perfectly seasoned. That's nice stuff. I like this. I'd be back. I'm coming back. back. I'm coming back. 100%. Coming back. Can't say a single thing wrong. Everything we ate was delicious. This whole vibe is pretty dope. The vibe of the restaurant is really cool. I mean, this is like definitely a place I'd come for a beer, even if I don't want to eat. You mm. come for a beer and leave with a French dip. <laughs> to go. Even if you're not hungry, you can order one of those. Verdict is, Centennial sauce the wings to me it didn't really work. I enjoy it, but I, I would think it, like maybe a little mix. Maybe do a buffalo mm -hmm. centennial mix in there. Um, I think for the wings, for myself personally, the buffalo were hitting pretty hard. Yeah. I like them. I just wish it would have come out with more buffalo sauce. Moving on to the dip, I think it was perfect, perfect. as is. Perfect. Didn't need a single thing perfect. change on it. Perfect. Literal heaven. As far as the chicken sandwich, delicious, great flavors. Chicken's just a little dry to me. Yeah. That's the only thing. But if you dunk it with some sauce, it definitely helps out. Hopefully find a better place for lunch. I hope so, because I'm trying to find the best sketchy looking restaurant for lunch. So let's finish this up. Let's get on out of here. Come on. All right, you guys. We're at our sketchy location number two. I'm honestly a little afraid. Let's do this. All right, so it looks like this might be a Jamaican spot. I'm not sure. We got meats, we got sides. So let's get a little bit of something and a little uh, bit of everything. What are you thinking? We got oxtail steak. Yeah, do that. Jerk, jerk chicken, chicken for sure. Salmon, shrimp, lamb. Jerk chicken for sure. I say we get some jerk chicken, maybe get some shrimp, and maybe the oxtail, and we'll get some sides. Sounds yeah, good? Let's run good. it. So I think we're getting two sides per order. Yo, this place gonna hit. Hopefully. Has the potential. Looks good, man. How, How you, you guys doing? doing? We're filming a little food review, if that's cool with you. Oh, that's cool. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, we good. Awesome. Good? This is my boy Kay right here. Have you had this spot before? Yeah, look at it. I ride 
Yes, every day. I'm only sad when they don't open. You what? I'm only sad when they're not open. He's only sad when they're not open. Okay, okay. <laughs> what do, man, what do got, you get though? What's your man, order? The main thing I always get probably the oxtail. Okay. The jerk chicken is good. Shrimp. I'm just gonna keep name off everything. Yeah, <laughs> that's really what we were about to order too. So. Uh, man, I recommend to get the jerk chicken with the cabbage. Then they got the rice. I tell them to have the oxtail gravy. Okay. Pour it on the rice. Pour it on the rice. And they do that. The fish is good too. Oh hell yeah. Okay. We're, we're gonna just get everything at this point. Yeah. yeah. Let's get the whole menu. <laughs> a little, little slab or something. Give me a little cup of everything. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, my man? I like your shirt, Income and Call Money. Yeah, I'm on to that call. Respect, respect. Are you from Jamaica? Yes, sir. That's what's up. Okay, so we want to definitely get that jerk chicken. We want to get the oxtail and the shrimp. And the homie K told us that we want to put some kind of oxtail gravy on the rice or something like that. So if yeah. you could do that for us, too. All right. Oh, damn, look at K's got baby Yodas oh, everywhere. Oh, the yogas. <laughs> yogas? Yoda. Yeah, you know Jake's nervous. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is gonna be crazy. We're gonna be, eat so good right now. Oh, we're gonna be dummy Bro, full. Get this. Yeah. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, wow. We're gonna eat real good. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm about to be in a food coma after this. Okay. Damn, that mac and cheese. I've never seen anything more cheesy in my mac life. Cheese and, uh... and then let's throw the yellow rice in there. Let's get the Rasta pasta. Now check this out. They're not skimping you out. Oh, oh man. my they God. Stuff that plate. That's wild. And this one was shrimp. Yes, sir. Yo, sir. Pass me the shrimp. <laughs> good catch, good catch. Yes, sir. I got spicy mouth, how to regular, y'all. Uh, let's, let's spicy. Go. You want spicy? Damn, all right, spicy. This is what the shrimp Oh, like. my goodness, yo. Oh, Jesus. I never say use Jesus' name in vain, but for this time, I'll let it slide. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me get this jerk chicken ready, y'all. Thank you. You smell that chicken? Oh, my God. It smells like the freshest barbecue you could ever be at, man. I'm in heaven right now. Oh, oh my, my God. <laughs> oh, man, you really got to stop using God's name. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't man. help it. Did you see that? I did see it, man. But I still say goodness. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm not messing with y'all today, man. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Send me my Show yourself. Thank you. Hey, shout out the location so people know where to come. Uh, we're on the corner of D.B. Todd and Clay Street in Nashville, North Nashville. And if you come down Clark Highway, you get here a little bit faster. Amazing. Awesome. Thank you, bro. Thank Take you. Take care, man. Be safe. Yes, sir. All right, we got the meal. Let's go find somewhere where we can try this. Let's get it. Oh, we we getting the hell out of here right now. Okay. <laughs> Dude had a full-on gun that wasn't even concealed, yo. No, he was open carrying he it. He was on his way. I know we're in Tennessee, but usually in Tennessee still it has to be concealed. Well, if you have a permit, you can open carry. Okay, well, he must have either had a permit or he's free-balling that gun because it was on his waist. I just wanted to break the ice with him. That's why I started talking. Seemed like a cool guy after we started talking to him for sure. That shows you cannot judge a book by its cover, and that's the whole thing about this damn series we're doing. So I'm excited to try this food. Let's get on out of here. Jake was shaking the whole damn time. I saw Jake was saying, and nervous things I could tell by his voice. He kept using God's name in vain. I'm just glad the guy laughed at what I was saying because, <laughs> woo! All right. Let's go find somewhere. Come on. All right, you guys, we already saw the food when he showed us, but I'm honestly dying to see it again. So let's check this out right here. You ready? We're gonna get live reactions for you guys. Here goes nothing. Oh, oh my, that looks nuts. This is Rasta pasta. He gave us a surprise over here. It almost looks like cheesy potatoes. That's what it is, cheesy potatoes. We got the shrimp, it looks incredible. Let's see these other boxes. And for our next one right here, Let's see this. Oh, my lanta. Holy crap. This is, we have green beans and something. I forgot what he said over here. Uh, then we got the rice. There's, this is the uh, the oxtail right here in front of me. It looks incredible. There's literally like leaves and twigs in it. I hope that's supposed to be in there. I don't know. It looks like they almost just found it in the middle of the forest <laughs> and they brought it over here. They killed the ox and there was still some twigs hanging on it. And here's for the next box. Oh, my, oh my lanta. God. I, look at that mac and cheese, Jake. There's no sa extra saturation on this video at all. It's incredibly cheesy. It's like an orange cheese. Usually with this mac and cheese, you're getting like yellowy white cheese. Not here, man. This jerk chicken goes incredible. I'm super stoked. Let's start on the jerk chicken because it's a Jamaican restaurant. Okay, baby. So the only napkins we got here are literally in our little napkin fork knife kit. So let's try to keep it as clean as we can. I just washed my car. I think like Damn, look at this thing. How am I gonna eat with this? Eat the phone home. This shit was like throwing up the spot. I can't do it. Come on, man. First things first, we gotta start with this mac and cheese. It's blowing my mind. So he said there's broccoli mixed in it. Let's go for it. 
Oh my. I've been to a bunch of Thanksgivings and never have I had mac and cheese that good. Has black pepper on it, so it gives a little zing. Shiver my bones and call me Atlanta because damn it, that is freaking fire. I could eat that all day. Now for the jerk chicken. Whoa, you, you got it on my damn Converse. <laughs> my bad. Let's go for some jerky. Oh my God. Oh my God. Man, I feel like I want to hit the damn jerk. Teach me how to jerk. Te te teach me. Oh, that's Dougie. Teach, teach me, me how to Dougie. Teach me, teach, teach me, me how to Dougie. Dougie. Oh my God. I want to pick this up and just bite it. This is the one we got spicy, the spicy sauce. Yeah, and I, I can taste it. It's a little bit spicy. It's deep grilled chicken wing. This thing has a crispy bite to it. Is that what jerk chicken is? Does that mean like it's burnt? I like don't know chicken? exactly what that means. And I don't want to be culturally inappropriate because people have said that in the past video and we weren't trying to be that at all when we did the Asian food. So again, if we did mm. offend anyone, we're sorry. We were just out there trying food. But damn, this is incredible. That's so good. This might be my new spot. Mm. Not a spot I'd go by myself. I'd go there carrying for sure, but this is incredible food. Mm. You got that spicy sauce literally about to pour out of the box. Jay can't stop spilling all over me. Incredible. Mm. And since the oxtail's already open, it popped open, it said, eat me next. I'm gonna go right at the oxtail. No time wasting, we're going for it. Here goes nothing, dear Lord. I don't even know what I'm grabbing. Just grab honest. a whole damn thing. All right. Oh my. It's so fatty, but so delicious. I'm gonna eat the fat, I don't care. Just getting, spitting out the fat, but I'm eating it. I'm getting bones in that. Oh my God. It's dripping in grease, but damn, does that add extra flavor to All every the bite. Fat. The meat is so tender. It's oh almost God. as tender as the fat itself. Look at that. I think that's better than the jerk. That's better. That's incredible. 100%. Okay, the next thing we're gonna try over here, I don't know what this is. Oh, cabbage, this is the cabbage. Oh, this is the cabbage. Here's our cabbage. Oh my God. Oh my God. You do not ever wanna judge a book by its cover, never. I saw a lot of comments in the last video that was like, this is how you find the best dance spots and damn it, ain't that the truth. Oh, that rice is good. Oh, this one probably has the oxtail gravy on it. Kay gave us the recommendation of throwing some oxtail gravy on top of the rice, and damn, was that a good decision. Also has some red beans in there. And twigs. Look at that, that's a whole ass twig. It's probably like rosemary leaves or something to like flavor it up. I don't know, I've seen this fall off a pine tree. You see the end? <laughs> <laughs> we don't got palm trees. We're not in California no more. Pine tree, dummy. Oh, I thought you said palm tree. Oh my God, I gotta stop. Oh my God. Okay, this food is gonna put you in a food coma. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. All right, this next one, we're going for the shrimp. So again, this one has the tails on it, but with a spot like this, I'm almost okay with it. You're already getting dirty with everything else, so. Oh, it's got that like, charredness to it. Like right off the Barbie. This is shrimp off the Barbie. If my buddy from Australia was here right now, he'd be like, woo, wee, shrimp off the Barbie, mate. A little lemon that will hit extra nice. That would. But that is fire on its own. Next thing that's gonna interest me is this Rasta pasta right here. I can't even grab it. It's like a gravy that they put the pasta on. I can't even grab any of these damn noodles. This fork is so messed up. Oh, that's good. That's thick and thick and creamy. This is something that if you eat too much of this real quick, you're out. You're out for the day, you're out for the week, you're out for the month, damn it. Eating this meal itself, just it's by itself, it's probably like 2,000 calories. This At thing. least. And then what is this? This is the cheesy potatoes right here. Oh. Look, I, I don't want you guys to think we're overreacting, man. This is next level. I would say okay. venture into the sketchy areas and go try this place because oh. we've had Jamaican food before in other videos. It didn't hit like this. It did not hit like this. If this is what Jamaican food is actually like, I'm, I'm a fan. A tick. Yeah. I really wish you just spoke English better. I spoke it right, I just forgot the ending. That's not right then. <laughs> I don't know, I just hope dinner is as good as this or better. This is incredible so far. This might be even better than breakfast. Oh yeah. Lunch has been served, we're gonna sit here and grab a little bit more, but damn. All I gotta say is but damn. But damn. But damn. But damn. Let's, let's put that on a t-shirt, but damn. But damn. Madam? Yeah, no, nah, it says but damn. But damn. <laughs> All right, so this is Fat Mo's. It looks pretty sus to me from the outside. Let's hope they're grilling up some good burgers on the inside, cause damn it, I'm hungry. Come on, let's get in the car and let's do the drive-through. Here's the menu, so let's see what they got. So it looks like it's burgers, corn dogs, roast beef, Philly steak. I want a Philly steak, kinda. A big catfish sandwich. Ooh, catfish out of here? I don't know. I don't know either, and I don't think. Okay. What do you think of this place, Jake? There's obviously someone else eating here. There's a, there's a person in front of us, which is a good sign. Shows that this place isn't completely abandoned because Jake and I drove by this earlier and it just either wasn't open or they just got back in business tonight. It says Fat Mo's, the biggest in town. Handmade burgers, roast beef, and chicken fresh. And then it looks like they added up there catfish. Just so in case you wanted that catfish sandwich, you know it's fresh. Cause look at the, look at the colors of everything else faded. But then you got catfish, which looks pretty new. 
It is. It says over 27 ounces of meat in the, the deluxe. 27 ounces? I've only heard of like an eight ounce Angus beef burger before. It literally says it. Fat Moe's, the biggest burgers in town. And it also says it comes with all that stuff. Mayo, ketchup, so save no mayo, no ketchup. All right. Hi. Hey, how are ya? Good, how are you? Good, can I get a uh, number one, uh, no mayo, no ketchup, and then a number seven, and then we want to get uh, the gyro sandwich, just the sandwich only, and then we want to get the Philly cheesesteak, the sandwich only. All right, we got a whole bunch of sandwiches coming in. Do you want to try the fries or the sodas? 42, 84. Can we actually add one uh, french fry? 46, 65. Let's get some french fries. Must be good. You guys really got the biggest burger in town? Yes. All right, I want to see it. How long y'all been open? 2004, we opened here. 2004? Yes. Oh my goodness. He said 2002. 2002, <laughs> okay. Thank you, my man. All right, so I just confirmed it does have the biggest burger here in Nashville. So, I mean, does town consider Nashville or is it just like the city? Because we're in East Nashville right now. I don't know. I don't know. But they're claiming they got the biggest one, so we're going to find out. A few moments later. Thank you. Amazing. Thank have you so day. much. Appreciate you, brother. Bye-bye. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. We got the food. Let's get grubbing. <laughs> Take care, my friend. We got the food. Let's check this out, and let's hope dinner is as good as lunch was. First things first. Oh, the gyro. I won't lie to you guys. It looks pretty dry right off the bat. Well, he asked if you wanted sauce in it, and you said no. Well, he asked me if I wanted ranch. I just never heard of a ranch on a gyro. The next thing we got right here, this is the catfish sandwich. Let's check it out. Okay, nice sesame bun. Ooh, baby, there's our catfish sandwich. It looks, that's all I'm gonna say about it, it looks. The next thing is in this box. I believe these are the french fries. Yep, they smell a lot, good. A lot of fries. Yeah, they smell damn good too. All right, so next we got our Philly cheesesteak. Let's see how this is looking. Oh, that actually looks pretty oh, that fire. that looks gas. That does look gas, you can see, wait, they don't like when we say gas. That looks goddamn good. That looks doggone good. That looks spit in the mm -mm. barrel. Good. <laughs> Looking good. And we'll show you guys the town's biggest burger after we eat these meals. So we're gonna eat, save this one for last. So let's put it to the side and let's get at it. I'm gonna start with this. This thing does look good. We got, look at the meat. It looks very peppered. I'm gonna tell you that. So here goes nothing. Let's take a bite. Mmm, mmm. Real good, but I want you to get a shot of this. For a Philly cheesesteak, where the hell's the cheese? Is that cheese or is that onion? That's onion. Oh, there's a little bit of cheese right there. So the ratio is a bit off. It's very flimsy, very flimsy. It's falling apart off of one bite. This, you get more taste of bread than anything else. You can see just the thickness of the bread. The meat's good, but I wish it wasn't so bready. I'm getting like gas station vibes, like quick mm -hmm. and easy, already pre-made. I wouldn't say mine's bad at all, which is not like authentic or anything, right, right, like right. very tasty. It's good. Same. Let me try this one, let's swap, let's swap. But it's not bad, you know? I will say though, looking at yours straight up off the bat, it does look very dry. So we're gonna dump it in this sauce and hope for the best. Oh, oh. I can only imagine how dry it would be because it's pretty dry in my mouth right now with dunking it into ranch, how dry it would be if we never dunked it. Yeah. Next thing we're gonna try is the catfish sandwich. As you can see, they throw a whole load of Kraft cheese right on that, so let's go for it. Decent flavors though. Solid crunch, they definitely double fried this one. But I'm almost tasting the mustard more than anything else in this cafe sandwich. Very mustardy, very, very mustardy. But at the end of the day, this place called Moe's Burger. We have not tried a single burger yet. So might as well pull out the biggest burger in Nashville. But before we try that, we got a whole box of fries, my man. So far, not a huge fan at all. Uh-uh, like I definitely think this is a place that you drive by and that's it. You just drive by it and you look at it and you wonder to yourself, who eats there? Cause that's the what I was, was really nice. He though. was real cool. Wave at him. Let's try these fries. So they do smell like they're fresh. Oh, no seasoning on them. No seasoning, they're not like They're kind of like McDonald's though. They're not like breakfast at all. Breakfast had a nice solid crunch to them. These ones are very floppy. It's very McDonald's fry without salt. I wouldn't even give it McDonald's. McDonald's has really good fries. These aren't very good. I think these were thrown out of a bag into the fryer fried up. They do have some kind of seasoning because I do see something on there, but they're not very good. They're very soft and flimsy. Look at that. You don't want fries like that. They're supposed to be fries. Fried, fries. Fried, fry, fried, fried. All right. It's time. Here we go, you guys. The moment we've all been waiting for. This town's biggest burger. And let me tell you, this thing's got weight to it. I'm talking like probably seven pounds for this thing. It's only 27 ounces. It's heavy. Probably maybe two Look pounds. I was exaggerating. Look at the size of it before we open it. Here we go. Oh, my Lanta. Here goes another. Oh, my Lanta. 
Oh my god. I mean, that's a damn big burger, but I can't imagine this being the biggest in town. No, like, there's no, gotta no, no. be a bigger, maybe maybe in, ninth, in 2004 when they opened up, this was the biggest burger. I mean, it looks quality, it looks size quality is good, but we'll see how it is when we take a bite. It doesn't look half bad. It has some type of special sauce. Can you see that? Here goes nothing, the town's biggest burger. Let's give me a hallelujah as I take a bite of this. All right, Jake? Good luck. Oh my God. Oh, damn, there's hot juices that squirt out. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good burger. <laughs> I won't lie. That's a pretty As good. you can see, we got our mouths all the way through that. Pretty solid burger, but it's like fast food mixed with like your parents' barbecue. You know what I mean? You get a little combination of both. It's a messy one. You got pickles, you got mustard, you got lettuce, you got tomatoes, you got bacon. It's a good burger, but it's nothing blowing me out of the water. Meat itself has not that much flavor. Uh-uh, like they didn't season the, the burger patties uh -uh. at all. And here in Nashville, like when we taste things, they're booming with flavor. It also has, has mushrooms. mushrooms on it, which is interesting. Mushrooms on it. What else it got? Onions. Onions. They put layers of stuff Each on Each layer here. has something different. So you're in for a surprise every bite. Mm, bacon. And bacon, yeah. I think when you take it out of the wrapper, you're expecting so much more. When you see the, the posters on the wall, town's biggest, you're thinking, this thing's gonna be insane. But then you take a bite of it and you're getting like a Wendy's burger, like nothing special. I mean, I think Wendy's is better out here. Oh yeah, for sure. We did have Wendy's and I thought it was banging. It's not bad, it just needs more seasons. It needs, yeah, it's missing something. It's missing that oomph factor to it. It's just a burger to us. Not a bad burger, but not a great burger. So we're gonna finish this up. I'm done. So that wraps it up. Let me finish chewing and we'll get out of here. So there you have it. We ate at the sketchiest restaurants for 24 hours. And like I usually say, don't judge a book by its cover. Well, according to dinner, you can judge some places by the cover. Didn't look good, didn't really taste good. But some other places you might be surprised. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the thumbs up, pick up the merch brand today.com. And until next time, I love y'all and I'll see you later. Peace. I'm so exhausted. I'm always nauseous.